Welcome back to our channel, the Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Kathleen Allison, smash that subscribe button. Go and have her smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the newest and latest patron, Valentin, Brenda, Solastar, LA, JI, my Tokayo Hector, Cassandra, Coach Ken, John Wick, Miguel L, AI Vega, Theo, Claudia, Miguel, let our actions lead others to Christ, Big Bad 48, Nova, Jack, Linda, Michigan Wolverines, Marius, Chevelle 66, Abuelita's Journey, and Dows Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you do so in the link in the description below. You are definitely missing out. This episode right here, man, this one right here is a long time coming. A lot of people have kind of hit me up in the comments about this guy, and they want to know. They want to know, Hector, what is your take and opinion on Rene Boxer Enriquez, right? The Black Hand, the author of The Black Hand. The title reads, The Bloody Rise and Redemption of Boxer Enriquez, a Mexican Mob Killer. So who is he? Well, the dude came from Artesia, right? As a street gang member. It says. The book says. Mexican mob killer. Clearly he made it to the. Top of his organization. Right. He made it to a level that not many people make it to. What does it take to get there? What did it take him to get there? Uh, it took acts of violence. Right. When you are engaged in criminal activity organizational activities, violence, making money, all of that goes hand to hand, right? It all goes hand to hand. It's, it's, it's just the nature of the beast. Can just anybody attain that level of that he made it to? No, not anybody can, right? There's not a lengthy list. There's not like thousands and thousands and thousands, right? There's a selected few. So in essence, this guy becomes who he becomes, right? Does that for a, for a while. From what I gather, the book, he uh, was good at what he did, right? And then he defected from said organization, dropped out, went on to spill the beans, debrief, wrote a book, right? Started singing like a canary. When I was working for the California Department of Corrections, he was still incarcerated. Yeah, was. I, I never came across the dude. Never was at the same prison that he was at, ever. But I knew that they would take him out to outside ag outside agencies, would take him to like law enforcement seminars, speaking on like, hey, this is giving up game. Like, oh, this is what they do. This is how they be communicating. This is how some of their tattoos. Look, he got the tattoo right there, right? These are what, these are what represents them. His former self, right? What I particularly did not like about that was that they would give him like special royalty treatment, right? Specialty treatment. Like the dude get, would get to wear a suit. He'd get to go nice hotels, right? He'd be hugging certain federal agents, high-fiving, shaking hands. Like when I conducted myself working in a prison, I, I never gave anybody any specialty treatment. I mean, the homie Shook Knight was on my yard, Right. I showed him the same respect as I showed anybody, right? <laughs> like, hey, let me get that autograph, Shug. Right? There was none of that. It was strictly professionalism. He's committed murders, this guy right here, Boxer Enriquez. He said it himself, right? He paroled, right? He paroled recently. No doubt he's in some type of witness protection, right? He probably, I mean, the dude wrote a whole entire book, 
spilling the beans. Do I believe that he's going to kill again? No, I don't think that he's going to kill again. I believe that he learned his lesson as far as like, hey, man, I went through what I went through. I did what I did. I'm out now. I don't want to go back, so I know that I'm not going to do that. Is he capable of it? Of course he's capable of it, right? Of course he is. That's just kind of facts. Do I feel that he was authentic when divulging information? Don't get it twisted. But here's the thing. Yes, he gave up game. But if he wasn't going to talk and tell us something, the next guy would, right? Rats are rats. Debriefers are, are a dime a dozen, right? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. He's nobody special. Nobody special to me, right? Is that going to, would that a- agitate him or insult him? No, well, all I said was he's nobody special, right? And maybe he wants to think that he's special, but he's just another, I don't want to say another inmate because he's free now, but he's just another dude, like, um, I've seen his documentaries on YouTube, the way he speaks, he's very articulate, right? Articulate, right? I believe all that is by design. He's good at manipulation, excellent at manipulation, right? I, I've been to hostage negotiations courses, right? You learn about different personalities, right? Some people are over here, other people are over here. Does he have the gift of gab? I'm sure the dude knows how to carry himself. Doesn't necessarily look like a killer, right? Kind of clean shaven. Would I want to be him? No, I wouldn't. Right? Definitely not. Not in a good place, I'll tell you that much. I mean, maybe he is thriving for sure wherever he's at. But I... There comes consequences with what... Doing any of that type of uh, activity. Right? Right? participating, engaging, leaving, for sure, man. There's an old movie called Blood In, Blood Out, right? I don't really talk on subjects like that. And it's for a reason, man. But yeah, there's pictures in this book, right? I don't buy books unless it has pictures in it. Uh, It's kind of a joke, but... I guess what I was going to say, does he have a bounty on his head? Probably, most likely, yeah, for sure. You just don't get to do that, right? You don't get to, you don't get to join one of the most ferocious organizations and then, so to say, turn your back on them, right? When, for whatever reason, it doesn't fare well. It doesn't fare well. Do I feel that the dude was, like I said, authentic about divulging information? I feel there was ulterior motives, and and it was exactly that. You get released from prison. It took him years and years and years, but the dude was persistent, right? So that was kind of a neutral grounds, right? And when I, trust me, man, like, I will just say this, when talking about subjects like that, that's a very sensitive subject, man. That's a very sensitive subject, man. Nobody gets passes, ain't nobody going to get a freebie, right? Nobody gets a freebie to talk about whatever they want, whenever they want. It's just not reasonable, it's not feasible, it's just not realistic, right? So... I do respect Lane's boundaries. Uh, yeah, here's the lanes. Here's my boy Hector not even giving. Ooh, don't even get close to that lane right there. I do. That's common sense. I'm not going to say that's common sense because you got some dumb babosos out there, right? But that's the truth, man. Do I wish bad for this guy? No. Do I wish good for this guy? Well, I'm not going to wish bad for anybody. But the dude did what he did, man. Wow, it's interesting. With that, the message for today is, wow, man, what kind of message can you say? Redemption? 
The word says redemption, the bloody rise and redemption. The bloody rise and redemption. Meaning the dude had blood on his hands, killed a bunch of people, and now he's redeemed. Is he redeemed? Is he redeemed? Only he can answer that. Right? Only he can answer if he is thoroughly, thoroughly remorseful, thoroughly rehabilitated, remorseful. Right? We'll see. Only time will tell. That's for that man and God to figure out. Keep pushing forward.